hi in this video we are going to uh, discuss about the experiment plc based control of material hoist the material hoist setup a schematic diagram is given in the screen here uh, you can see that uh, there is a three floor building including ground floor that means you have a ground floor first floor as well as second floor and uh, there is a hoist or an elevator which is driven by a motor okay. the motor has to be energized such a way that uh, the hoist is moved up or down based on the requirement in each of the floor that is for ground floor first floor second floor etc three push buttons are available and uh, these buttons are in fact connected in parallel for example if you consider the ground floor push button all the ground floor push buttons in all the floors are connected in parallel that means if any one of the push button is pressed then uh, the particular input will be energized so through this way even though you have nine push buttons uh, by parallel connection of uh, 333 buttons uh, the number of inputs in plc have been reduced to just three in order to indicate the presence of heist in a specific floor limit switches are placed in the back of the heist limit switch is nothing but a mechanically actuated switch okay there will be a spring like setup when a material slides over the limit switch uh, the spring setup will close and it will close the switch and once the heist has moved beyond the limit switch once again it will open because of the spring arrangement now the motor uh, has two terminals m1 and m2 for moving the motor up m1 has to be positive and m2 should be negative and for moving the motor down the polarity have to be reversed that is m2 should be positive and m1 should be negative our uh, connection and uh, circuit should be such that we are able to achieve the upward and downward movement of hoist the sequence of operation is simple okay wherever may be your present position if any push button is pressed okay uh, the lift has to move towards corresponding floor if i press second floor my lift have to move towards second floor and when the limit switch 2 is obtained your uh, lift has to stop See, the actual PLC connection is here. Yeah. Uh, as in the dosing pump setup, I hope you know how to connect uh, the inputs and outputs in a PLC. See, here we are uh, using six inputs, three inputs from the limit switches and uh, three inputs from the push buttons. Actually, there are nine push button, but three, three, three push buttons are connected in parallel so that the total number of inputs in a PLC is reduced to three and uh, we have only one output that is the motor but we have two terminal m1 and m2 now uh, the setup available in our lab for that the motor is driven by a 5 volt power supply so we have given a separate power supply uh, 5 volt is connected to c0 and there is another common terminal c2 in which ground is connected and uh, y0 and y3 are connected together it is connected to m1 of the power supply similarly y1 and y2 are connected together and it is connected to connected to m2 of the power supply this is the actual physical connection okay uh, but the manufacturer have provided some terminals so that you can very easily connect it using patch cards that diagram will be shared with you in moodle before coming to the lab just to see the diagram and uh, have it either printed or drawn for your reference next we will discuss about the logic of changing the direction of motor to move up or down okay. here let us assume those uh, internal contacts in the plc outputs as some switches just to for the sake of understanding okay. so how we have connected y0 and y3 they are connected to m1 y1 and y2 both these terminals are connected to m2 
first our requirement is to make the motor to rotate in forward direction or our lift has to move up so in such case the current has to flow from m1 to m2 so that means if y0 is turned on and y2 is turned on think about this structure uh, the current flow will be from c0 y0 m1 m2 c2 then to ground as in the green arrow it is given so therefore current flow is from m1 to m2 the motor will move up uh, otherwise the rotation will be in forward direction okay how to change the polarity for that you see the the diagram below you need to open y0 and y2 but you need to short y1 y3 now see what happens our connection is such that if y1 and y3 are closed then the current from the positive uh, the current flow will be from uh, positive of the battery or power supply c0 y1 m2 m1 and to y3 further c2 and uh, negative or ground so therefore the current flow in the motor will be from m2 to m1 that is reverse of the previous case so therefore motor will rotate in opposite direction that means it will move down so for this type of changing the direction only we have connected a pair of outputs that is we have chosen y0 y3 to m1 and y1 y2 to m2 and another important thing is we should always be very careful that you never turn on y1 and y2 as well as y0 y3 at the same time why because if you turn on y0 and y3 then what happens there will be a dead short circuit uh, you see this uh, flow assume that y0 and y3 are uh, turned on so that means uh, current flow will be from over past of our uh, uh, power supply c0 y0 y3 c2 and ground that means it's a dead short circuit so while writing the plc program we should produce or we should include enough interlocks so that uh, these kinds of conditions are avoided next we will discuss about the ladder logic program for the desired sequence here we are going to represent the status of our process using certain status flags or memory bits see the bit m2 sorry mm. the bit m1 is for representing the state of the hoist moving from first floor to ground floor similarly m2 is the status of the lift moving from moving to the second floor similarly m3 represents the status of the lift moving towards the ground floor and m4 is the status for moving towards first floor from the second floor okay we will see the program at that point you will be able to understand it okay we have three limit switches to indicate the presence of the hoist in that particular floor okay <clears throat> so when limit switch zero is closed that means whenever the hoist is in the ground floor <laughs> and if i press pb1 that means if i am pressing first floor button m1 his bit is turned on it is set m1 bit is set okay. so m1 is going to be a status flag so once the first floor is reached m1 is reset that's all so m1 is going to represent the movement of the lift from ground floor to first floor next uh case so assume that i am in the first floor not only first floor anywhere even in ground floor also and i am pressing the second floor button so if i press the second floor push button pb2 then means uh my second floor status flag has to be turned on that is m2 when it should be set that is my second floor button is pressed and my lift is not in second floor that is uh, ls2 is open 
and uh, other states are not available this is just for safety okay since i am turning on m2 i just check m1 m3 m4 states are uh, zero in such case i am setting m2 okay now you see m1 represents movement of the lift from ground floor to first floor m2 represents movement towards the second floor so that means in both the cases we need to move our motor up that means we need to turn on y0 and y2 so this is the third ring i'm sorry fourth ring that is when m1 is enabled or m2 is enabled and the motor is not moving down then your motor has to be up what is happening here this is called interlock interlock in the sense as i have already explained uh, you should never uh, uh, turn on that pass okay, otherwise there will be dead shot so you should never uh, give both the commands that up and down at the same time so for that only we provide this interlock so when up is turned on you mandatorily check that down is not present okay uh, so this kind of programming method is called interlock so it will be uh, some kind of a safety mechanism so that uh, uh, accidents are prevented so what is happening whether the m1 state is there that is ground floor to first floor or towards second floor and the motor is not moving down then your motor has to be up see why do we require uh, these kinds of interlock is by chance if there is a open circuit or short circuit in any any of the wire so they may change the status of the flag in such cases uh, it may lead to an accident so while writing program itself we ensure that such uh, rare cases are captured okay so now we have considered two cases of moving up similarly we need to consider two cases of moving down so when our m2 bit should be turned off that is once you reach to a second floor that is ls2 is reached then you can turn off m2 okay let us consider m3 okay m3 is going to be the status for ground floor so wherever my lift may be uh, this status for moving towards my ground floor that is m3 wherever my lift may be if i press the ground floor and provided that my Uh, operation is not in status m1 m2 and m4 i am turning on m3 i am setting m3 okay when m3 should be reset when i reach ground floor that is when lf0 is obtained i should reset m3 now uh, we have considered three case now the fourth case that is uh, m4 it is the status representing moving from second floor to first floor okay. so assume that i am in the second floor if i press the first floor button okay uh, uh, i need, i am confirming that i am in the second floor that is when i press the first floor button and i am in the second floor that is ls2 is 1 and other states are not there then i am setting m4 okay. so when this m4 should be turned off once i reach my first floor my m4 should be reset so when ls1 becomes 1 m4 is reset so both m3 and m4 represents downward movement so using this status we are uh, enabling the downward movement of the motor the last rung is when m3 is on or m4 is on okay both the case represent downward movement and for safety interlock we are putting that y0 is not uh, on and y2 is not on and under this case we are turning on both y1 and y3 so you see once again here also we have interlock Okay, there we say if it is not down then move up here we are saying it if it is not up then we are moving down so this program ensures uh, that both uh, uh, y0 y1 y2 y3 are not turned on at the same time so in this uh, video we have discussed about the existing setup available what all the inputs and outputs how to connect them into plc and we have also discussed about uh, the logic of changing the direction of motor to move up and down and we also discussed about uh, the ladder logic program in the next video uh, i will show you the uh, demo of the actual operation of this material heist setup thank you